Hey, what's cracking, peeps? Glad to see you back for another episode of Let's Build a Vanilla Minecraft Server. Uh, yeah, this is my first episode in probably about a month to a month and a half. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I could make up a whole bunch of excuses like, oh yeah, I've I, I've been busy, which I have, don't get me wrong. But I can make up a whole bunch of excuses like, oh yeah, I've been doing this, that, all this other stuff. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest. I haven't really had that much dedication to this project recently, so I've kind of just been doing other stuff. But, so because of your guys' requests, I will continue this series and keep it up. Uh, obviously, you guys like this because I have gotten a lot of people saying, dude, where's your vanilla ser s s <laughs> where's your vanilla server series? It was really cool and I want you to start it back. And I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, just when you you guys request stuff like that, I tend to keep it going. So, uh, yeah, so getting back into the gist of this, I have encountered a problem. Yeah, not a good way to start back the series, but uh, I think it's time for us to approach it now before it's too late. So we had Father Time and it would track the amount of time that you've been online. Now what would happen is there would be one single clock that would probably be in the middle of the hub because that's the center of the world and what that would do was it would track the amount of time that you'd been, been online by having a redstone clock go back and forth. Now for instance if I was the only person online and I was not in the radius of the world hub to where that chunk was loaded then then the clock would stop and I would be online, but my time online wouldn't be tracked. Now, I've thought of a couple solutions, and here's what they are. The first one is, uh, A, we could not, or we could just not track the amount of time you've been online. That's like, that's, that's only if there's absolutely no possible way for this to work. Um, there's B, possibly find a way to get it to where it detects if the chunk is unloaded and if the chunk's unloaded then it will start the other clock in a different chunk I'm not sure how that would work honestly hopefully you guys could help me with that and see um maybe find a way ooh lag spike maybe find a way to keep the chunk loaded so ooh my bad <laughs> maybe find a let me repeat that one more time Maybe find a way to keep the chunk loaded. So, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a certain game mechanic that we can exploit to keep it loaded. But, yeah, that's what I have for that. So, I'm going to postpone the ranks and whatnot until we actually find out uh, about that situation. If you guys have any ideas on what I can do, please comment. I really need you guys' help. I am desperately confused right now. But, so, for the rest of this episode oh to start off the episode I guess let's work on the jungle room some more okay so something that one of my viewers recommended was they were like oh yeah you should have a river that goes underneath the pathway and kind of have a bridge so that's what I'm gonna go do time to go into time-lapse mode Alright guys, so we are back, that time lapse, um, I did a lot more than I thought I would do. So it started out with me just doing the uh, the river and then I expanded out to uh, 
finally finishing up the walls around it. I just really wanted to finish up this uh, the spawn for the jungle. And then added some more trees, did some landscaping. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with what the result has been. Uh, let me just fly up. So yeah, this is basically an overview of what I have so far. Uh, that hub sign, I'll still do something with that. And um, jungle temple, I'll fix that up. And also with these. So I was thinking and what I really wanted to do was put like a jail here let me just go back to the world hub okay so I was thinking and the PvP I was thinking about having a tunnel for vanilla survival warp and then having another tunnel for like PvP survival warp so maybe we could do something like that and the PvP ooh, <laughs> the PvP I thought I was going to turn it into possibly jail so the server really does have everything that's really known to man <laughs> crammed into one um yeah the reason why I want to do a jail is because uh, recently I'm not sure if you guys saw Traslander's uh, magic replacing blocks or not there will probably be a link right here for like two seconds or something to that video uh, but he's inspired me uh, because when you play on a jail server there's always a mine or something and what the mine does is every half an hour to an hour I guess it resets well using Traslander's amazing new uh, replacing blocks thing I decided that it is possible to make a mine in here that resets itself so I really want to do a jail now so tell me what you guys think if you want to replace the PvP with jail but the PvP would still be here just inside the survival area or maybe there will be teleport orbs I don't know <laughs> but so yeah alrighty guys so um, I'm just gonna head on over to MC edit and I'm just gonna cut all this stuff out of here and I'm going to um, I'm, I'm just gonna cut it so I'm not completely getting rid of it I'm just going to delete it out of here and then for another room we can paste it in here because the jail is going right here where the PvP snowy room was and uh, so yeah be right back okay and we are back um so the snowy room is gone and we just have this uh, this semi <laughs> circular platform that down here but I have a proposal for you guys no, we are not getting married. <laughs> I'm just going to be asking. Uh, well, not asking. I'm going to be doing something different than usual. So, I'm going to be posting the world save to this whole vanilla server map. Now, the reasoning behind that is, A, I want the community to be an important role in this project. Uh, and B... I want to see what you guys can do and what your ideas are for what's going on. So you guys can basically create the jail and what you can do is just take this world, start building on it. It doesn't even have to be a complete project. It can just be little things or aesthetics that you think would really look good inside the server or inside the jail. And uh, yeah, if you want to just build the jail. Uh, go right ahead. I'm not going to like exactly take your jail and paste it because I do want to put some time and work into this. I just want you guys to help along with it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and also if you guys have any ideas for the rest of this world, uh, say for instance you want to maybe change the way these corner pieces are just take a picture of it I'll see what you guys have and I'll consider it and if it's good or decent I will uh almost likely put it in the server um so yeah I'm gonna change these signs real quick to different colors I've already changed survival to the uh, the light blue stained clay I feel like it looks better and uh, black wool 
black stained clay. This is actually a tough decision because black stained clay kind of looks like brown or yeah it looks like a brown almost it doesn't really look black so you guys tell me um black wool or black clay and then with creative there's green down here um i really want to change the color from hot pink or magenta unless you guys like the magenta but it's going to be a clay so with the magenta stained clay it's not really the best color choice it's that, and then I was experimenting around with other ones, like red and pink. This one's red, this one's pink. They're, they're all kind of alright. And... yellow? Maybe. I'll consider yellow. It does look good though, so um, I think I'll probably go with yellow. Let's see what you guys think. <laughs> and then mini games is going to stay orange and PvP. I just have to change that sign in general to, um, say, jail, I guess. <laughs> but, so, um, yeah, and al also, with the jail, um, I forgot to say this earlier, but I want to have four blocks in there, if possible. So I guess you could have three blocks in a free world as one of the blocks. So, like, block C, B, and A, and then free, or maybe you could have D, C, A, or D, <laughs> I don't even know the alphabet, or you could have D, C, B, A, and then not count the free world, uh, it's really your choice, I just want to see what you guys, uh, have, and whatever you guys want the most, I will just go along with, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Okay, so that pretty much sums it up for this episode, guys. Um, it's a shorter one. Also, note if you are downloading the world, try to play it in um in the snapshot 13w19a. Uh, you can just use the new Minecraft dev thing. It's real simple. You don't need to change your .jar file now. You can just swap it using the launcher. So um, yep. Uh, if you do play it in 1.5 then most likely the sign will be gone. Actually, it will be gone. <laughs> but yeah, that's mainly the only thing that's going to be affected by it. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about having you participate now in the buildings a lot more with the world files now being up for download. I'll probably be doing this every episode now. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like if you guys want more of these and think it's just awesome what I'm doing. Post the word awesome and subscribe. <laughs> and if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, uh, just go comment. You can even PM me and say hello if you want. Okie doke. Well, adios.